are back. It is day six of Purpose and Legacy Goal Setting. I am Brandy, and this is Creative Selections. I am so excited to be with you today because I wanted to dig a little bit deeper on some of what we talked about yesterday, our goals and our action steps, and today we're going to dive into action steps. The thing that keeps ringing in my head as I begin to write down my action steps is this scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. I know you know it. For I know the plans that I have for you. They are to prosper you and not to harm you. They are to give you a hope and a future. As I begin to write down my action steps and begin to think more about what God wants me to do, what steps he wants to, me to take in each of these goals, I know that they are to give me a hope and a future. So I want to make some steps, take some steps and make some steps that are going to align with that. Um, let's just say, for example, I want to lose weight in the new year. I want to... Um, take and write down some action steps that are going to help me to lose weight in the new year. I know we're all on that kick, the healthy kick, and we want to lose weight, and it's one of our um, goals for the new year, but then we kind of fall off. We don't stay consistent at it, and it's because our action steps are not aligned to give us a hope and a future. We have to align our action and be committed to that commitment to that action so that we can then begin to prosper and move forward in those goals. So one thing, um, a few things that I would write down to um, lose weight in the future. I want to exercise five times a day. I want to eat six small meals a day. I want to um, log my food daily, um, different things like that. So how are you going to do that? Who, one, is your accountability partner, two, uh, to whom you've told your goals and your action steps so that when they check in with you, they can say, so how was your eating today? Um, what did you, did you log your food today? Um, do you want to go to the gym with me today? So Every day you have to be looking at your action plan, looking at your legacy lamp so that you can see what are the steps that you said that you would take to be able to complete this goal, no matter how long it takes. If it's a quarterly goal, if it's a six month goal, if it's an annual goal, whatever the thing is, continually be consistent in repeating those action steps so that you will build momentum, that you will then, um, once that momentum is built, you will make, uh, build a habit. And then once you're in a habit, you will prosper in having a hope and a future in completing that goal. It does take work. It takes effort and it takes energy and it takes you all in no matter what. I hope that this is something that you can be committed to in your goal setting for 2018 because it takes a committed you. That's what I have for you today. Be committed in those action steps so that you can live and lead a life poured out with purpose and legacy. God bless. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can get all of the goodies in this wonderful series.